All right, in the last video, we actually talked about uh, logical equivalency, and that means that the final statements are exactly the same. So a lot of times, you're going to be asked to use a truth table to prove that things are logically equivalent. That means when you get to the, those two columns, they're going to be exactly the same. So here, they're wanting us to compare this, which is right here, with this, which is right here. Okay, so we have to go through and fill in the truth table. They've already started it for us, which is very nice of them. Now, first row that they want us to fill in is not P. So here's P, so we're just going to negate every single one of them. Okay, not Q be the opposite of each of these. Wonderful. Now, here we have Q and P. Remember, Q, the and, it's only true when both are true. So let's look down our list. Q and P, true and true. False and true. True and false. False and false. Easy. Now, this column, the first one that we are wanting to compare, is the column for not Q and P. So we're supposed to negate the one we just wrote. All right. Now, the last one, we're supposed to say not Q, which is here, or not P, here. Now, this is a regular or, so that's either or both. False, false. We have at least one true here, one true here, and both are true. Are these logically equivalent? Yes, they are. Let's try the next one. We're going to negate the first column. False, false, true, true, false, true, false, true. Now, Q or P. Now, this is a regular or, so either one. We're good, 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 no trues. Now, not Q or P means I'm going to take each of those and negate them. False, 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 true. Now, the last column tells me to take not Q and not P. So remember, that's only when they're both true. False, 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 true. Are these equivalent? Yes. How do you know? All the trues and falses match up. Now, the next one. True, true, false, false. So the negation to be false, false, true, true. Negate the Q's. False, true, false, true. So again, practicing with an implication, if, then. True, then true. Good. True, then false, not good. False, then true. Good. False, then false is good. Remember, it's only when you lie. The inverse. What was the inverse again? The inverse is when you take your original and you negate it. So, we're going to negate it. So, false, then false is okay. False, then true is okay. True, then false is not. True, true is okay. Converse is when you flip. So, if Q, then P. True, true, good. False, true, we're good. True, then false is the no-no. False, false is okay. These are equivalent. They have the same listing. Now, there's two more ideas. Two last ideas. A tautology or a contradiction. A tautology means it's always true. Contradiction is always false. So let's look at some. What if we take the statement, it is raining? What if we take, it is raining or it is not raining? Okay, so it is raining could either be true or false. 
not raining would be false, true, or it is raining or it is not raining. Well, if it is raining, then it's not raining, but that, that's okay. It's always true. The statement is always true, and if you think about it logically, it is. But can it be raining and not raining at the same time? No. It can't ever. That's a contradiction. So let's take this example, and I'll let you do the last one by yourself. We're going to fill in the knots. Not Q and not P. Remember the and symbol tells me to look for when they're both together. So here we're looking. If we see any falses, they're done. Now, here is Q or P. So we're looking back at the original columns. And this is an either or. So we're good. Now, this says to take this statement here and do an and with this second column. So we are going to and these, and, 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 and. So remember on an and, you're looking from both being true. I don't see that anywhere. We have falses all the way down. So this would be considered a contradiction. Ah, we'll go ahead and do the last one. Okay, not Q would be false, true, false, true. Q and not Q. Remember, we already talked about that. That's always going to be false, right? Now, because you can't have something and something else at the same time. We're going to take that, false, 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 then P. Now, remember about an if-then statement. If the first part's false, it's always going to be true. So this would be called a tautology.